I hope you're having a great day. So I'm just gonna get started. I need to take some plants out to get them hardened off. I need to start watering one of my gardens over there. And then I need to go harvest anything I can find. So I'll just take you along. So I've been checking my peonies daily. And while this one is showing some color, it is still hard as a rock. So I'm not gonna cut it yet. Um, every day I'm like, they're close. They're close, but they're just, they don't feel like a marshmallow. They don't feel soft yet. They just feel kind of hard. So not today or not this morning. So this is pink spire salvia. And this up here is a little bit shorter than the one at the bottom. But all I do is I have two growth points right here. If you can see that, um, there's two leaves coming off. And I just cut it right there. And this is really cute in short bouquets or short vases. Um, and it makes actually a really good filler and it also makes like a spike on shorter ones so I just go through and cut above two sets of leaves and then I use it I haven't harvested all of it probably that I should um, I wonder where that was when I was cutting them that day. I was like, well, I know I have another piece. And I just, I just strip it all off in the field like this. Um, I leave a little bit because it helps keep other flowers up in a small vase. I was so excited. I found like the prettiest one. And then I broke it. It's not a pretty color. Ah, and then I snapped it right off. But it was the only one. Of course, of course that's how it went. All right. I even see the salvia. Isn't that beautiful? It's a lot of pretty colors. I like the... It just ranges so much. You've got like this really pink with the touch of purple. And then it's kind of like a peachy. And then I've got the purples. And then over here it almost looks blue. So pretty. Then that really pretty one that broke. And then a really light lavender. I think I need more lupine. I did see this awesome yellow lupine and I was like, oh, I need it, I need it. And I think there's orange too. And I don't have any. Right now I just have like the blues, the purples, the pinks, and some peaches it looks like. Oh, I need another bucket. Looks like I have some daisies about to bloom. And then there's another look at my baby's bud. I thought I saw a little sprig of it. So here's a little patch of daisies. I So with my anemone, I've just been bringing a short vase because they're so short. <laughs> they're getting taller now that it's cooled off, but they grow also in the vase, so it's not a big deal, but they need to go immediately into water. And usually if I use a bucket, they just sink 
in the bucket. So, um, but they're so pretty when they open up. They're just so pretty. Yay, that purple one has some height to it. Look at that one. Mm, I wish they all were that tall. So I think what happened with the anemone is it got up to 90 degrees. And it just kind of stunted them and they didn't grow how they normally would grow. But now <laughs> it's freezing today. I kind of wish I would have wore a coat. Now that it's gotten colder, they are actually starting to get some long stems, but I don't know how long this cold spell is going to last. Um, so maybe in a normal year in Iowa, they would do all right. And now I'm going to get some penny crush so I have filler. So this is my haul today. I got my penny crush. I snatched up some Dame's Rocket just because I love the smell of the Dame's Rocket. I got my anemones. I have my lupine and hiding behind my lupine is my pink spire salvia. So, not a bad haul for the day. I'm going to let them sit here, soak up some water, um, and then I will put a lot of them in the cooler. I will put these in the cooler. I do not put the Dame's Rocket in the cooler. It will kill it. And I do not put the Penny Crest in the cooler. I let it just sit out. It lasts a lot longer when I do not put it in the cooler. So you can see um, some of these anemones, they're short. They're not, in, they're just hanging out of there, but they've gotten a little longer since I picked them. Um, but yeah, this purple one is definitely the tallest of all of them that I have. So maybe they're gonna start getting taller. That's exciting. The rest of them are pretty short. Okay, I'm at my row of yarrow and I'm going to just start putting the yarrow in um, from where I left off and try to fill the rest of the row. Officially put in an entire row of yarrow. Yay! That's it. This entire row has been planted with yarrow. I have just a little bit of sea holly. Um, it kind of germinated. I had a little bit that had germinated. I think I'm supposed to have like 20 feet of it. So. I know I put a bunch of sea holly seeds in too, so who knows, maybe it'll pop up this summer or maybe I'll just end up filling it up with something else, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some of it in now and we'll go from there. So I did put some celosia in the ground, just the seeds. So I'm just gonna find the tags that match and put in a few. I am not having good germination. Um, last year I had a lot better germination on my celosia, so I don't know what's going on. And then I know at the end of the season I had some celosia and I just like threw the seed in the ground in the fall and it came up. So I don't know if I'll have to do that again, but I really loved it last year. So I'm going to get these in the ground and maybe I'll try to even put the rest under a humidity dome and see if I can't get them to come up. I don't know what's going on with my celosia this year. What's crazy is I think the Bombay is the best looking row. Um, I've got two rows of Bombay and Bombay purple and 
They germinated the best and it looks like seeds in the field germinated. Jewels of Opar. Check. They look pretty. I've never done them before. They are in the ground. All right, next to the full yarrow row. This was a full salvia row and now I only have a little bit of salvia. It looks like I have a lot of weeds. And so I just started replanting it at the bottom. Um, so I put my liatris in and I just had a little bit. Some of these trays did not do that well at all. And then I had my still, a still bee, a still. So I put it in right here. And then I just had a few plants of Baptisia. And I know these holes aren't big enough for these plants, um, but they'll help them get started. And then I can probably go through and do what I'm gonna do over there, which is kind of cut them out and get them going again. So. I got that little section done. There's little itty bitty yarrows. They're so little though. <laughs> They're cute. They're so tiny. So tiny. Sorry, my little friend. I did not want you blooming yet. I might have some little baby columbine soon too. These are the ones that came back from last year. So I'm down to these three trays. I put the three in that have only been hardening off for two days. It's really cold and windy, so they've been out long enough. And these three have actually, they're on day five. Tomorrow's supposed to rain. Today's all cloudy. So I put in two trays that were on day five. Um, and I might go ahead. The, these status are kind of small, but I think it's because they're all, they put way too many seeds in there. So I might go ahead, put the esters and the status in the field. Um, the gomfrina. I'm not sure about the gomfrina. It does look like possibly the rabbits eat the gomfrina. There are some gomfrina still up in the field, um, but there are some missing ones. Um, so I might go ahead with the gomfrina. I mean, they might not be able to eat that many of them. I don't know. And I have some in my annual field inside of the electric fence. Anyway, so I think I'll go and get some of that in. It does seem like the wind is really picked up and it's gotten really cold. So I don't know if the rain's going to come early. We'll see. We'll see how much I can get done. This row is done. We've got Cosmos, Campanula. Stock, status, stock, status, stock. They're kind of mixed in, but all the way to the top. Some of it looks a little sad. Hopefully the rain helps it. Oh my gosh. So I got all my trays cleaned up and I cleaned up the kitchen, cleaned up some vases to get ready for tomorrow. I have a few arrangements to do and I forgot to do an ending video. But I figured, well, this is perfect. This is always part of my day as well. I usually finish my day putting my video together. So I'm putting my video together behind me and I hope everybody has a great day.